The Glenelly River is a tributary of the foil system in the northwest of Ireland and is a renowned salmon and sea trout fishery. It rises in the Sparren Mountains and flows through a landscape created during the retreat of the last glaciation approximately 10,000 years ago. The rivers and streams meander through a rolling landscape with rich deposits of sand and gravels. The mid to upper reaches of the river catchment have a number of land uses including silage production, grazing and forestry. Open moorland and bog dominate the headwaters of the Glenelly catchment. The main channel of the river flows in an east-west direction through a diverse living landscape which has been managed for generations by the local community. Numerous mountain streams discharge into the river from the uplands to the northern side of the valley. It is these tributaries that provide essential spawning and nursery habitats for native fish species and supporting ecosystems. On the 22nd of August 2017, a significant weather system passed over the Glenelly catchment, dumping approximately one month's average rainfall in one day. The direction the weather system moved over the catchment meant that upper sections of the river were unaffected, while a short distance downstream, large landslides inundated the river valley, depositing huge quantities of silt and rocks over farmland, blocking stream channels and bridges. The massive job of restoring farmland and river channels is ongoing, with careful consideration being given to the management of the natural environment. There is an increased probability that significant weather events like the August 2017 flood will happen more frequently, with a greater potential for increased intensity of localised rainfall events. How do we ensure our landscapes are more resilient to future change? The local community, farmland, business, infrastructure and the natural environment all have been hugely impacted with many challenges remaining. Rivers and streams flow through our community, forming an integral part of our landscape. Improving our understanding of catchment processes and how they can be impacted by change may provide opportunities to develop appropriate actions for consideration.
legacy of the August 2017 flood will be felt for a considerable time. Developing action at the catchment and landscape scale can be achieved through the development of active working partnerships with the community at its centre.